the movie pattern and the differences. Welcome, good day and hello to Silent Time, the opportunity to think on what is really important in life. The movie pattern. Many movies we see that pattern at first, the evil, the bad seems to win, seems to have the upper hand, seems to be stronger. But finally, the good wins. Is it not similar situation in the world, in our lives? The rude people seem to have the upper hand, the bad behavior, the evil forces and the devil seem to win. In the world, in the society, even in our own lives, so many temptations and sin is there. But finally, we know that God will win. In the movies, that might not always be the case. But that is the big difference. We do not need to hope. We do not need to fear. We do not need to be in tension. Because God already has won. The good God. His mercy already has won. He has won the victory. He already has done everything. We already know that he is stronger, that he has the upper hand. He has brought his kingdom. He has won the victory on the cross and by raising from the dead. He has overcome all the evils and has brought his light, his good Holy Spirit. Forgiveness, breaking up all the cycles of hatred. He has brought the goodness, the light, the true life, life with a purpose. And that is why we can sing to the Lord, we can praise him. Jeremiah 20 verse 13, sing to the Lord, praise to the Lord. He has delivered the life of the needy from the hands of the evildoers. Also he has stretched out his mighty arm and scattered the proud with all their plans. He has brought down mighty kings from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away with empty hands. Luke 1, verses 51 to 53. Lord, we praise you. You already have done. You already have won the victory. You have done all that we need. We thank you that we do not need to be in attention. We do not need to worry whether finally the good will win or not. You have won the good victory. You are the Savior. All praise and glory and honor belongs to you. In your grace, we pray that you may protect all who suffer from fear, from injustice, from persecution, from war, from sickness. We pray that you protect all those who seem to have no shelter. Be with the poor and those who cannot help. Thank you for your mercy, for your help, for your forgiveness, for your love for the life that you bring. Praise and glory and honor be to you forever. Amen.